draw Lola and her friendly sidekick, Cloud. Um, have to leave a little bit of room for the logo. Logo usually looks like this. And um, I'm going to center her because this is a cover. However, I'm going to try to balance the shape out with maybe tilting it like this. And then some background elements right here. Oh, this is going to work out just fine. It better because I have one day to work on it. <laughs> I haven't quite decided how I wanted him to um, gallop. I just know I want the most dynamic form. Because I've already drawn Cloud on the covers multiple times, so I don't want to end up with the exact same pose, which will probably end up happening if I'm not careful. I guess I probably should have uh, decided ahead of time. Um, But let's just see where this takes us. You know, I might actually shrink. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that because I need a lot of room for Lola. We don't want Cloud to take away from the main character of the story. Okay, so this cover is kicking my butt right now. I, I've erased and reposed it at least 30 times. So i um, going to have to work through the sketch first before I start really inking and coloring. So this is going to take a lot longer than I expected. But I don't have too much time, as always. I want some movement on this cover, but not so much movement that it's distracting from the design elements that I'm going to put on here later. Because we have, this is the first Lola cover, so I don't want it to be. Um, too much story and less design, but I guess we'll have to see if this layout's going to stick. I'm just blocking in the shadows at this point because I feel like I could form cloud a lot better that way and kind of skip through the value study by doing it this way. There seems to be never enough time to do these things. Or I could say traveling while having multiple deadlines, probably not the best situation. Okay, um, so I think I'm, I'm going to be happy with this, but <clears throat> now I have to go in and design her costume and design all the stuff that Cloud is going to be carrying on this cover. Okay, I think I'm going to change the pose just a little bit. She's leaning too far back. Um, yeah, if I don't finish this by tomorrow, I'm going to have to do this at the airport, which I don't think is going to be very, it's not going to be a very good idea. Especially not this cover. Um, 
because that would mean that I can't color it either. So I have to at least get the inks done tonight. So this is what I came up with. Um, I think I'm going to start inking it with the multi-liners. Um, kind of not exactly what I had in mind for the cover, but you know, I think I'll do. Um, hopefully the ink will just make it a lot more moodier. I'm trying to go for something slightly darker, but I don't want Lola to look afraid, even though this is like a tense situation. So we'll see. I think I'm going to re erase some of the lines and then um, kind of refine some of it before I start inking because if I don't, I'll run into a lot of problems otherwise. All right, we're going to ink this bad boy right now. We got about three hours, so let's just say it takes two hours to ink. Still going to make good time. I don't know if you notice this, but every time I have a tight deadline, it seems like it's always like I'm surprised still. And as all, I've also mentioned in one of my videos that um, even if you're given a lot of time, you seem to manage to find a way to suck up all that extra time that was supposed to be given. It's a good thing I'm used to drawing Lola and Cloud, so it's not quite as difficult as uh, maybe some of my other projects. And I'm going to be jumping around a lot, actually. I'm resorting back to the techniques I used when I was starting out. Um, I would ink with multi-liners first before I inked around the outside because it was quicker and, most importantly, it's Copic marker proof. So that allowed me to overlay it. However, when I was working on volume two, I actually found an ink that wouldn't that wouldn't bleed with Copic markers, but um, I didn't want all my lines to be harsh black outlines, so I started using the pens instead, and then kind of going back over it. I think the key is to not use a really thin um, markers so anything above like a 0.3 would be nice like I was using 0.1 and stuff like that. I'm going to save Lola for last because um, making sure that her face looks okay is extremely important. So I guess I should talk about the background of where I came up with uh, the name Cloud or just the horse in general. Um, I'm obsessed with horses. A lot of people that know me know that I'm obsessed with horses and hopefully someday I'll be able to have my own farm and raise horses and goats. That's what my my plans are, I think. Um, so Cloud was a wild horse in the Rockies and I was so enthralled with the story that I decided to name Lola's horse Cloud. Not only that, but he was also what inspired me to put horses in the comic. I mean, if you really wanted to look at it that way, essentially Lola is all the things that I love and I just kind of made this concoction of a comic book story to kind of fit all the things that I love. Funny enough, now that the story is developed the way that it has, and um, now I have to try to figure out how all this is going to tie together, even though I initially had an ending plan for the story and why I decided to do it in the first place. But since it's been so many years, a lot of things have changed, and uh, so I'm trying to adjust all my new, newly found knowledge with the things that I loved in the first place. And hopefully it all kind of ties together and makes makes it all worth it after all this time. I started Lola when I was 
in Hawaii living there a few years ago before I moved back to Seattle. In fact, I purposely moved back to Seattle so that I could write and start creating this story because I felt like the environment was going to be perfect for this type of story. So, yep. And then it's funny because when I started drawing Fathom, I moved back to Hawaii where it was tropical. You got the crystal clear blue water and that's pretty much what Fathom was. It's takes place around the water most of the time. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if subconsciously I felt like I needed to be in that environment or it just happened at the right time, which sometimes it's all about timing and it just works out. Okay, I think we're ready for base colors now. Uh, hopefully this won't take too long. I always say that. And uh, the lighting is making this color that I always used for um, cloud look really, really dark. So that also matters the light source that you are uh, working at, like whether it's a fluorescent light, um, iridescent, stuff like that. Or, because when I'm in Hawaii, there is an awful lot of sunlight, so I get a certain look with what I'm doing and I, I kind of adjust the colors accordingly, but in situations like this, you just have to know your color is and trust that it's going to do the right thing because you've used it so many times before. So I think I'm just going to film the rendering aspects of this and I'm going to do the color flats ahead of time or else it's going to take an extremely long time. It's going to be a very long video. Besides, that's the fun part, is adding in all the highlights and stuff. Okay, so we laid out the basic colors. Um, and now I'm going to go in and render it. So in this case, I'm not going to add all the really dark darks like the black ink up until I'm almost done rendering because I started with... Um, multi-liners first so I don't want to put any ink in that might kind of spoil my like the gradation I'm about to have yeah there's gonna be a lot of um, black spots on this piece and also an, to con contrast it I have a lot of white as well so I'm gonna leave it pretty much like this and just start rendering out the parts where I know there's gonna be like the shadow line and some of the textures and then I'll go in and add the black inks later. It's been so long since I've uh, discovered and figured out how to use Copics like this. Um, I don't remember anymore what my first drawing was. All I know is that I'm grateful that I was able to do that. This piece is going to be much darker so going to be a lot of shadows being added after um, the mid-tones. Not quite sure if I'm going to get this done now or back in Hawaii when I land and I'll be home at like 10 o'clock. So it's going to be really late. But this needs to go to go to the catalog when I get back by Friday. So guess we're going to have to try and see where we go. You know, I think I'm going to save her face for last since it's so important that I don't mess it up. I think right now I'm just going to do the shadows. Yeah, just build it up. So right now I'm using a cool gray. Oops. There's a lot that goes into one of these covers because um, there's so much texture that goes into post-apocalyptic books that I can't really take shortcuts. We don't want anything to look too cleaned up and posh except maybe spoiler alert in certain parts of the comic which doesn't really have much in way of dust I guess.
Okay, this is coming together. Gosh, it's been so long. I don't actually remember how I achieved some of the shadows when I was drawing the comic. Or coloring it, I should say. Let's hope I don't run out of ink before I get back. Because I didn't snag any up during Emerald City Comic Con. <laughs> in Hawaii. Uh, it's 6.30 in the morning and it's Friday. So this cover is due in an hour. I also have four more covers to do so that's five covers in total today. I just got back from Seattle so yep, it's gonna be a long day. So without further ado let's get to work. So I'm trying to create density in the background right now with the cross hatching and stuff to match up with Lola's figure on the horse um, cloud. So we want this to be pretty detailed cover because this is our number one issue and it has to be one of the best, I guess. Put everything I got into it. Maybe I'll add a little bit of pink to the sky because we've already got purple, lavender. Kind of. Feels more complete now. done since we got so much work today. Um, welcome back Lola and Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> 